Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another YouTube video. My name is Two Errors, and today we are ranking the best, the best of the best, the cream of the crop in the sun and moon era. But we got the pomp and circumstance running. And we are ready, ladies and gentlemen. We're ready to get this party started. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Let's remind everybody what we're ranking these sets on. We are ranking them on desirability, value, and pull rates. This is no jokes, no opinions. This we're, we're getting the statistics and the math and putting them into an equation where we will equate who rises to the top. And it might be a surprise to some people, but We'll find that out here later on in the video, but I am joined by the Iron Sheik. Rest in peace. Hopefully he brings me some good luck. He did pass away yesterday. One of my favorite all-time wrestlers, a great heel wrestler, uh, just incredible. We're going to be opening up some Sun and Moon Era packs. I think we have five of the six sets to open up here, so it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be incredible. Let's get this party started, though, ladies and gentlemen, by taking a look at who drew number six. Ladies and gentlemen, we got Burning Shadows, who has at least made this video and didn't make the very bottom of our list here. Uh, just a reminder, we got Crimson Invasion and Sun and Moon at the very last tier. We had Forbidden Light and Guardians rising in the D tier. You can see Ultra Prism there in the C tier, and Burning Shadows would join it. And Burning Shadows actually had some... They had the best pull rates of any Sun and Moon era set. And that is kind of what brought them to number six. They also have an incredibly valuable single card. They do have the Rainbow Charizard, which is the first Rainbow Charizard ever in Pokemon history, which it's worth over $300 right now. There's 14 other cards in this set worth over $10. That escape rope that you see right there is an $80 card because it's still playable in the, you know, it's, it's an actual pretty cool card. Uh, it, and it's been around for a very long time, but you know, it's, that's, I think that's the first gold escape rope that there's ever been. And value wise, it's got some, it's not, it's not a, you know, super valuable set. It is the sixth most valuable set. So it kind of makes sense that this kind of draws number six, uh, collectability, not that collectible, uh, minus one real big card and one playable card. That's really all you got here, but it does at least make it to number six. And we're going to open some packs up of Burning Shadows, ladies and gentlemen, and this is going to be pretty exciting. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I, I'm I'm extremely excited about opening some Burning Shadows. We haven't opened too many packs in the history of this channel, and we definitely haven't opened up that many in the history of history. I believe uh, in total I maybe have opened up less than 10 to 15 packs, so that's going to be a lot of fun. We have this GX Challenge box. It has uh, Aloha Ninetales in there. It comes with two Burning Shadows packs. I got this at Walmart maybe three years ago, maybe two, three years ago, there was like a little restock of these. And so we're gonna open this up. I wanted to show you guys uh, what it all looked like. I, I, you know, it's gonna be a lot of fun. It's gonna be good stuff. I am excited about opening this up. It's been sitting around and honestly, I mean, I'd rather open the packs up. I do have some product seal that, you know, it could be for later videos or something like that is really what I'm saving it for. But uh, this is something that, you know, it's literally a theme deck. I might leave the theme deck open there and hold on let's uh let's put the stuff on the screen here and let's uh take a look at what we let's look at a look at the goodies that we get here we go all right ladies and gentlemen it looks like i see another like promo card back here i did not realize and these are not from burning shadows but yeah it comes with uh one of those aloha nine tails that you see in the uh, promo deck these are very, very beautiful cards. I love the GX cards. I don't care what anybody says. The GX cards are nice. All right. We got two packs here. Uh, we get a Ho-Oh on one of them, and it's a Tapu Lili, right? Or Tapu Fini or Tapu something. Tapu something. All right. Now, this is the best pull rates in, in Sun and Moon. So maybe, maybe the pull rate, pull rate Prince? I don't know. What is the pull rate, the Pokey Gods can help us out here. We got a Will Buffett. We got an Electric. We got that Guzma. Guzma's pretty cool, honestly. That'd be a, a nice one. We got this Alolan Grimer, a Riolu, a Cutie Fly. I saw a couple of those this weekend in Pokemon Go. A Togo Tomorrow, an Olivia, and a Persia. All right, 
The Ho-Oh pack has to get us here, ladies and gentlemen. We gotta get on the Ho-Oh train to get us some luck here. I don't know, we'll see. It's gonna be good. It, regardless, it's fun to open in these. All right, we got fire. Maybe we're gonna get some fire. We got a Kirlia, very popular. We got that Olivia again, but in regular format. Kaiwu, Kaiwai, Pampor. That Caterpie is, that could be one of the best Caterpies that there is. Porygon, Sock, Oddish, Esper, and a Tortonator. Oh no. Uh, last video was bad in the pool rates, and this video is not starting off very well, but that's okay. That's okay. You guys saw the last video, and it, it was really funny. Like, all the Sun and Moon packs were awful pool rates. Like, nothing was happening good in that video. It was it was pretty classic. I'm not going to lie to you. That was a Sun and Moon <laughs> presentation for sure. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and take a look at what drew number. What is this? Number five? And ladies and gentlemen, we got Lost Thunder, which will be in the B class, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, here are all the statistics. It does have one card over $100. It has 15 cards over $10. It is valued at $1,031. Not super valuable for a set that came out so late, but it did come out right before the team tag team cards came out. Uh, Lost Thunder has the third best pull rates of any set in Sun and Moon. It has it's the seventh most valuable, but it does have a lot of desirability. I mean, and it has a lot of cards that are the mid tier cards. It has a lot of cards in the what is it three to five dollar range and a ton of card or three to nine dollar range and a ton of cards ten dollars and over, and then obviously you have a one card over a hundred dollars, which kind of puts it. At this position, I don't have any packs to open up for Lost Thunder, so we're going to move on to the next set here. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I like Lost Thunder. At Zero Aura, Lugia, that's one of my favorite sets uh, in the Sun and Moon era that doesn't have tag team cards. All right, let's go ahead and talk. And uh, boom, Unbroken Bonds will join us here. Has a total value of $1,373, and it is going to in the B class. This is now set number four. This is fourth place in all the total sets. As far as pull rates go, though, they are kind of abysmal. Um, you know, it, it's it, this is why it is where it is. Well, it's not abysmal. It's the sixth best. It's still kind of bad, though. Uh, it does have the fourth most value. It's, it is the fourth most valuable set in all the Sun and Moon era. And the reason that it is where it is, which kind of makes sense, uh, and it has the third most desirability. So there are two cards over $100, and 17 of the cards that are worth at least over $10. So it's a pretty, it's still a pretty good viable option. I think packs cost about $20 or less. I think you could probably find packs around the $17 to $20 range. Uh, we're going to be opening up some blisters here shortly, but this is my reason why and we're pulling statistics we're not pulling like you know just any old thing out of you know you know we're, we're, we're actually pulling numbers this is not an opinion we're pulling real numbers out of here uh it's not something that i'm pulling out of my butt all right we're gonna go ahead and open a couple of the packs so of unbroken bonds and we had to do the blisters it was kind of tough to find some stuff uh i was supposed to get uh, i'll talk about it later on we, we, we got two Packs here, we got the Alolan um, Executor as the coin. We got this really cute Pikachu, really cute Eevee. We're going to go ahead and open each one of them up. I know that it probably pains some people to watch me open these up because I'm sure there's some value. Uh, Bonds, Tempered in Battle. And as you guys know, uh, Unbroken Bonds had a Charizard card and the Sylveon Gardevoir, which is... That all art is the literally worth a good amount of money. And I almost put like a two dollars $300 tier, but... It would get too ridiculous after a while, but th that card is worth a, a hefty amount of money. Probably worth more than all of the Sun and Moon base uh, set <laughs> in value, if, if believe it or not. Uh, let me see how this Pikachu card looks. The one thing I did not like about the Sun and Moon era blisters is they have like a little thing that protects the card from moving around, but it also messes the card up in packaging. But honestly, it's not it's not bad. This card looks okay. This, uh, it made it through the test of time, and we have a Machamp tag card here. Let's see what we can get out of this pack. We'll open the other one here shortly. But let's see what we get 
out of this Unbroken Buns pack. All right, here we go. We got a Gliascore. I don't remember if this set has uh, any specialty sets. This is a dope ride on. You see Giovanni back there from Team Rocket. I like that card. I think the Sun and Moon era did that better than anything else. This Jigglypuff is super cute as well. Animus Magius. Very, very nice. Very happy with that. Good pull. Good pulls. I like... I like them. I like them. I like Mischievous. If you guys don't know, that's one of my favorite, probably one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. We haven't, we're going to have to do uh, one of those best of uh, Mischievous series pretty soon because I, I got to get into it. I mean, we are doing Gen 2, so it might be, uh, you know, Mischievous is not like some super popular Pokemon, but I like Mischievous. I used to have a Mischievous deck when I was younger. Um, that was actually probably the last deck I had. This Eevee card is really cute. Um, not bad at all. Not bad at all for a promo. And we got another Machamp uh, tag card at the front of that. So let's go ahead and see what we end up getting. Hopefully we get some pulls here. Uh, the, the, this last, like these final videos have been kind of, kind of, you know, ugh. but, uh, we, you know, one pack changes all that charge the bug. That's a cute charge bug card. Got the Krabby, Tangela, Oddish, Wooper. That's a dope card. That's ghastly. And we got a, we got a hollow. We got a stakakaka. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. All right. Listen. Don't get mad at me, Pokemon people that know how to pronounce the names of Pokemon. I, I don't. I don't know how to pronounce the names of Pokemon, okay? I, I at least admit it, okay? All right. That was uh that was our first like hollow hit. <laughs> of of a long while now. I think we didn't put any hollows in the uh the previous video. It was miserable. It was, it was bad. That was that was probably one of the worst uh definitely one of the worst sun and moon openings. All right. We're going to the next set, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be third place. We're at we're finally closing it out and there's going to be some anger. But I have all the explanation on this one, ladies and gentlemen. I have all the explanation. And remember, we're ranking these sets based on desirability, value, and pull rates. Let's go ahead and take a look. And finishing at number three is probably everybody's favorite set in Sun and Moon. Because it's valuable. It's the most valuable. It is Team Up. And Team Up is the most valuable set. And it does have probably the second most Desire, it's the only set in Sun and Moon that has a card worth over $500 with that Latios and Latias tag card, which is beautiful. Uh, but the pull rates were atrocious. To get a secret rare, it was 1 in 145. It, it was not very good, ladies and gentlemen. And that is kind of what pulled it. It had the worst pull rates of any Sun and Moon era set. Rainbow Rares, 1 in 96 uh ultra rares one in 22 which is better than some but the rainbow secret rare pull rates awful 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 and that is kind of what put it there that it had the best value it had the second best collectability that means it you know it, it had three cards over 117 over 10 not bad at all but it it, it doesn't it, it, it didn't do the trick ladies and gentlemen it doesn't do the trick and we do have some packs to open up for team up and uh maybe we can get one of those uh maybe i can fall in love with team up all over again okay uh i do have that magic card card and we're gonna go back to the uh the little blisters here ladies and gentlemen we are gonna go back to the single pack blisters last time if you guys remember we opened the pikachu and it looked like somebody ate it so i'm hoping that uh you know we, we pull something kind of cool here or at least that pikachu promo card doesn't look like awful uh, these packs have gone up in value. Um, at the time we started recording this video, these packs were worth about $25. You could find them. Um, now you can't find them for less than $30, $35 on a good day. So uh, team up is going up in value. Uh, tag team cards have skyrocketed in value and they continue to skyrocket. I mean, they don't print Sun and Moon anymore. So, you know, it, it is, uh, it is what it is, but it's, it's getting tough. It's getting tough out there, fam um get get your team up if you can um and i don't know you know if it's fomo or what's going on here uh this card has a little bit of uh kind of packaging damage yep, those packets man they they can they, they can ruin the card for sure all right let's open up this venusaur pack venusaur celebi pack maybe uh maybe 
Maybe we can get something good out of here. We'll see. We'll see. I'm excited no matter what. Here we go. It's going to be electric. I, I know an electro charger. We got this. That Hitman Chen is cool. I might. I don't know. I was going to say. I'm not sure. Oh, we got a magic carp. All right. That, 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 all right. That, that already kind of has won my heart a little bit. We got a Meowth. That's a really good Meowth. The Alolan Executor looks really cool. That's a rare uh, rainbow or not, a rare reverse hollow. And the Alolan Marowak. That's kind of cool. I like that one. That's a good card. All right. One more pack, ladies and gentlemen, of Team Up. And I like Team Up. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> Pokemon Team Up for Valor. For those that don't know, this is the first. This is the introduction of tag team cards. It's kind of weird that they introduced tag team cards at the end of the Sun and Moon era. Um, I think that's kind of weird. You know that it's like end of the era. Let's uh, introduce team tag team cards like Pokemon, and then they just got rid of the tag team cards. You know what I mean? Like Sword and Shield came out, and it was all about the uh, you know V Max. Cards, etc., etc. All right, Wait, this is our second chance at this Pikachu card. Beautiful card. It has some really cute swirls. I'm hoping it's not too damaged in the back. All right, this one actually looks really clean in the back. All right, I am very happy that we did this again. I wasn't sure if I was gonna do it again, and we got the Zekrom Pikachu. Let's see. Uh, can Team Up give us some love here, ladies and gentlemen? We're gonna find out. Team Up, can you? Give us a hit. One in 145. Can there be something delicious back there? We're going to find out here shortly. We got a Dragonair. We got the Igno and Emmet. That Charmeleon. A Voltorb. That Squirtle was super cute. A Bronzor. That Klefki. It's a Keys. A Pokemon is Keys. We got a Honedge. And look at that! We got a Latios and Latias GX, just a regular GX, but it is our first tag pool of all the openings that we have done, and that definitely deserves some sort of celebration. That is a nice card. I'm going to get some sleeves real quick, because there's some cards in here that I have been wanting to get. That, that Pikachu card, like I said, the first time we got it, it looked like a mess. It was all bent up. It looks like the one, the Mimikyu kind of... The one the way the way Mamiku kind of has a little bend. That's the way that one is too. So this was a nice little pack. All right, we got something good. Um, that's a I mean that's a one in ten pool, but I am very happy regardless because it's a card I don't have, and it's a beautiful card. Look at that, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, I'm happy. I am very very happy. As you can tell, any pool for me is a plus. Very, very cool. And it's fun to open these cards because they're so old. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and go back. So that's number three. So team up was number three. That was a lot of fun. Uh, but we're now getting into number two. What is, you know, what 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 is our number two set? And remember, we're, we're, we're going to keep reminding you guys, this is based off of desirability, value, and pull rates. Here we go. The number two set in the Sun and Moon era is Unified Minds, which finishes off the A tier. Four cards over $100, 19 cards over $10. This is the, I believe, let's see, Unified Minds is the third most valuable set. It has the fifth best pull rates, and it is the fourth most collectible set, meaning that there is a lot of cards in here that air, that can be and are very collectible and worth at least some money. Uh, we don't have a lot of pack. We don't have, we, we couldn't find. Unified fire, ah. I, there was an order that I made um, for the number one and two set and it never came in and we're all good, but I wanted to make this video this week and get this uh, before Paldea Evolve comes out. I wanted to make sure this video came out. So what we're gonna do, uh, yeah, I mean, that, that's why, that's why we, we, I got, don't worry though. Don't don't fret. We, we we still ended up getting a pack of Unified Minds. It's just not a it's not a normal pack. It's the uh, it is the mini pack of Unified Minds. We got a Mewtwo and Mew on here, uh, but we're gonna open it up. We're going through it. All right. I know there's a, a a very low probability to get a hit out of this, but it's okay. We're opening Unified Minds. Just not a lot of Unified Minds. All right. We got a Padov. We got a Dwebble and a Relicanth. Oh, no. All right. Unified Minds didn't last long, but that's okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I guess you guys probably know 
who the number one set is, and let's go ahead and take a look at the reason why it is the number one set in the Sun and Moon era. Because people might want to know, well, why, Tours? Why did he do this? Why did he pick this? And we're going to explain why. All right, ladies and gentlemen. And the number one set in the Sun and Moon era is Cosmic Eclipse, and it eclipses... Four cards worth over $100, 22 cards worth over $10, and there are a lot of cards. I, we can't even count, that's why this is the reason why we didn't. There are a lot of the five to nine dollar cards, or five to ten dollar cards, however you want to see that, uh, in that range. It has, as far as pool rates go, the second best pool rates, it has the second best value. And it has the number one collectability score because there's a lot of cards that at least could get you your money back. And as a matter of fact, we've opened Cosmic Eclipse over the years and we've at least been able to pull an SR card because uh, they're at one in nine packs. So that is that is a reason why this set is here. It is really only, uh, there's only reason, one reason that Team Up is worth so much money. And that's the Latios and Latias GX tag team card right now. If you take that card out of there, if you take the number one card out of Cosmic Eclipse and to take the number one card out of Team Up, Cosmic Eclipse wor is worth more. And that, you know, say what you will. <clears throat> I had fun opening all the sets. So I, I, I win no matter what. I win because I got a chance to open up some packs of cards and do this series. But uh, yeah, Cosmic Eclipse, we had some trouble getting the packs that we were supposed to get. So instead, we have a single pack blister with our friend, Miss Magius, on there. So this is going to be fun. It's a nice promo. Uh, very excited about this, opening this guy up. Um, this is, this is going to be cool. I, I didn't even, you know, this was kind of like last minute. To get this, I was almost not good, but I was like, how can I not have the number one set? Like, how can I not open one pack from the number one set? Like, that would do this video an injustice. And I like opening Cosmic Eclipse. It's a fun set to open up. And uh, that, that's why we're here, fam. We are here. This has been a good video. This has been a lot of fun. Let me know what you guys think. By the way, a supreme connection of stars and Pokemon at the apex of the Sun and Moon series. Cosmic Eclipse expansion boosts the connection of Pokemon trainers. And yeah, I had the tag team trainers and those are really collectible too. Like there's so many cool things in this set. Uh, very underrated set, uh, even though it is valuable and people really do love it. I, I still think it, it's still underrated for what it offers and what it is. All right, is that Miss Magius? Beautiful, beautiful card. Condition, not bad at all. Not bad at all. Very happy. The promos, other than Mimikyu, were very, very good. And there we go. We have the Dialga Palkia uh, pack here. This is an Arceus. Can't forget about the good old Arceus. We have the opportunity, ladies and gentlemen, to potentially pull something cool here. Uh, and we might even get a two-pack banger. Here we go. Rest in peace to Fairy Energy. We got the Pignite, an unidentified fossil. I don't want to pronounce that. Duskull, very beautiful card. I don't think we've seen this time pool, and I like it. Flabibibibi. Ponita, Cosmog, and a Victini, but that's okay. This card actually has some value. I think it's like two or three dollars. And that's what I'm saying. Like, even some of the normal hollows in the set have some value. This is a beautiful for a non ultra rare card. This is a very nice. I like the hollows in Cosmic Eclipse. I'm telling you, there's a reason why. Like, I'm going to go look at the value of that card. Hold on. Bef this is going to be outside of the, you know, we're going to go look at what that Victini is worth. Because I am curious now what that Victini is worth. This is the reason why I'm like, uh, I like some people are going to complain. I know. I know. I, I understand your complaint. But I'm going to show you a reason why this is, uh, you know, this card is worth $3.03 market value. It's a hollow rare Victini. Oh, wait, actually, that's the Noble Victories. It, it looks almost the same. All right. It, excuse me. It, it looks similar to... to oh, my God. Hold on. It, it's not 303, but we're, we're still scrolling down memory lane here. All right. I still haven't found it yet. I'm at Guardians Rising Victini. Unified Minds had a Victini. All right. This Victini is only worth 40 cents. Oh, no. I thought it was worth more than that. I'm still happy, though. I got a hollow. I still win. I still win. And this was a fun series. Uh, I definitely want to do the Sun and Moon um, specialty sets. 
that'll be a video that we do eventually. I don't know when. At some point this year, we'll do it. But uh, as far as content goes from here on out, we're going to be chasing the Magikarp and a couple of others. We're going to try to, you know, Pouty Evolved has arrived, and we're going to be doing some stuff, some special things there. We're also going to have our specialty, you know, every week we do our favorite card and from a specific Pokemon. Uh, I don't know what we're going to be doing next week, but it's going to be a lot of fun no matter what. Keep an eye on those videos. They're going to be good times. And as far as this series goes, we're going to continue it. Like I said, it'll be the specialty Sun and Moon sets eventually will come out. I think I want to regrade my Sword and Shield grading uh, as well. You guys remember, I didn't, ha I didn't use this methodology last time, and I'd like to reuse it. Take the playability out, and we're just going to integrate what we did here. And I think that'll be a lot of fun. So we might have a bottom and top of the Sword and Shield era video, like a makeup video. But we have a lot of stuff going on. Definitely stay tuned. We're going to have some Pau Day Evolved. We're also going to be celebrating my one year of making special content on YouTube. Um, we've had the YouTube channel for a little while, but one about one year ago, it, this month, we began making specific content. Before that, the content that you saw were reruns. They were my Twitch streams just kind of thrown on here. And it was a lot of fun. But now we, you know, then we took YouTube a little bit more seriously. We're like, huh, you know, I should, you know, post some videos. Like, I should post some stuff, uh, you know, push some content out. And so this is going to be our anniversary of making specific content for YouTube, we're going to be celebrating with opening some of my favorite sets of all time uh, that I've opened up since I have become two eras. So you're, there's going to be some special sets. It will have the, spe the set that we opened up in 2016 that brought us back into the game. We have some packs of that. We also have some packs that brought us back in during the Sword and Shield era. That's going to be a lot of fun. And then we have uh, one of my favorite specialty sets in the Sword and Shield era as well. A lot of good stuff. There's going to be some fun times. Thank you so much for watching this video, ladies and gentlemen. If you could, please leave a subscribe to the channel. If you did enjoy this content, please leave a comment. Let me know what you guys thought about the Best of the Sun and Moon Edition series. Uh, we had a lot of fun making this video. And also, if you could, do me a favor. Be tell somebody something nice. Because it could be the only nice thing that they hear all day, all month, all week. And mental health awareness is really important. And just being kind costs nothing. It really doesn't cost anything. To say, hey, you know what? All of you guys are fucking amazing people. I absolutely appreciate you guys for watching this video. I really do thank you guys. Like, you guys are amazing. You guys, watching this video makes an impact on me. Like, I love spreading positivity. But also... Uh, it just helps me continue to want to, you know, to make content on here. It's all stuff that I would do anyways. I would still open packs of cards, but getting able to, sh you know, being able to share it with you guys is a lot more fun. Uh, so I appreciate you guys for watching this video, uh, watching me on Twitch, following me on Twitter, all the good stuff. All my socials can be found. Uh, two underscore eras is the only non two eras altogether. Uh, that's my Twitter, but everything else is just two eras. I appreciate you guys so much. If you could do me a big favor, one other big favor, watch one of these two videos. It could be something interesting. Thank you guys so much for watching this one. Until the next time, you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. I love you. I appreciate you. You guys are beautiful human beings and wonderful. Till the next time. Later.